Howdy, howdy, fellow YouTubers. Mrs. Zbunch and I'm here with a Mix D Hot Wheels collection update, along with Flying Monkey and a sombrero. This is probably about the seventh time I've tried to do this video, so apologize if I'll sound a little bit flat or boring. But I'm really trying to get this thing done before my camera switches modes on me. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to zip through these as quick as I can. The first one is the Hot Wheels Performance Buick Grand National. Uh, this is the third color variation for the 2011 Hot Wheels Performance Series. There was a black uh, and white version, yellow and black version, and then this is the gray. It's kind of like a metallic -y. Well, no, it's not even metallic. It's just a kind of a gray color. Not a really fancy color, but this is the best color variation of this one, in my personal opinion. Then the 64 Lincoln Continental. This is a Mix C car. That was Mix D. But this is Mix C, 64 Lincoln Continental from the Hot Wheels Main Street 2012. Really like this cop car. Very cool. And then continuing on the theme of cop cars is the 10 Camaro SS police car. This is the Hot Wheels PD. Kind of a New York style cop car in my opinion. But uh, it's red, white, and blue. Nice Camaro. Solid. Got the gray base. Black booger bar black interior and then the light bar on top nothing too fancy but very very clean and stylish one that I'm not too huge of a fan of is the 73 Pontiac Firebird new models for 2012 not a huge fan of the evergreen green on this I'm hoping they'll have a black or a silver variation of this eventually so yeah overall not too bad but hoping for another color vary on that one and then um, the next one is the 1985 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. Hood louvers, black interior, smoke glass, IROC Z striping, the Z28, black base, black interior, painted taillights. They did this one 100% right. And it is pure to the image of the IROC Z Camaro. I am very happy that they did this car right, so um, big props to Mattel for this 2012 new models. I'm sure they've had a lot of requests to do this, and it definitely looks good. Um, obviously, as some of you know, the Camaro Z28 has been out in the past in this same body style, but they've never done the IROC, so um, very good to have that. The next one I'm really happy to get is the 68 or 8 crate. It's like a Bel Air Nomad type wagon, Chevrolet, with the Moon Eyes graphics and the satin black, flat black, however you want to call it, with the uh, kind of shiny yellow flames and matte um, silver striping. Very, very cool. Moon Eyes decoed car. There's only about one of these per case, so it's going to be kind of a slow release like the Bone Shaker, I'm assuming. So um, you may have a little bit of a hard time finding this one initially, but if you're patient, you'll find enough of them. But it's really cool to get a flat black car. I love these flat black ones. And then the next three are kind of like errors. So the first one is this Volkswagen Brasilia. Now you won't be able to tell too well, but the paint on this one isn't quite painted right. So the front right corner, you can kind of see some bare metal. Um, it's not showing up because of the red. Um, blurs everything with the camera, but it does have a little bit of an underspray. Not too much of an error, but considering I wasn't going to buy this car unless there was an error, you know, I picked it up for that reason. And then the next one I picked up is the Fast Fish with the wheel error. It's got a black wheel in the back and then a blue chrome wheel on the front. Another car that I wouldn't have necessarily picked up, but since it's a wheel error, when I hadn't picked it up, as you know me, the errors find me instead of the other way around. I'm a magnet for these things, so yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then the last one I picked up is the Ken Block Ford Fiesta. Now, I'll let you look at this one for a little bit and try to figure out what's wrong with it. Well, if you haven't figured it out by now, this one is, is pretty funny. It's like it had a piece bitten off by another car. The casting was not completely, the die cast wasn't completely filled with metal. 
So uh, when it came out of casting, it was missing a big chunk out of the side door. So it was like he was doing a little bit of rally cross or uh, uh, what is it? I forgot. Gimmicka style driving, and he uh, knocked a piece of the door off. So it's got pre-rally damage. Pretty cool little uh, error. You don't see the cars with missing chunks like that very often. But when you do, they're not usually that significant. So it's really weird to see a big chunk of the door missing like that. So anyways, picked up uh, two real errors. And then the rest of those are some new models. Along with a good old time for flying monkey. Oh yeah. So anyways, peace until our next update. Oh yeah.